Join us next Saturday when our theme is Cocoon with Buffoons, where we witness dumb jokes, eye pokes, and other stoog staples. Right here on MeTV. This is the MeTV Network. See locally on KSFY's MeTV Sioux Falls. MeTV is memorable entertainment television. Hey, mister! Yes? What time is it? Well, it's time for another classic Sven Gulli show being brought to you from the top secret Sven cave, and this week it's another hammer horror classic that we haven't seen in a while, with Peter Cushing tracking down a vampire count who's turning young women into the brides of Dracula. Now, you'll see our old set and coffin, and with conventions currently on hold, a visit to a past one, and though you won't see his face, the hand at the door is actor Kevin J. O'Connor. Here comes the show. Excellent. Calling all stations. Clear the air lanes. Clear all air lanes for the big broadcast. planner, but it is time to throw rice. Ow, ow, ow! You might want to take it out of the box first, because here come the brides. But these toothy teases are less interested in a trousseau than they are in a transfusion. When a French student teacher learns a shocking lesson, when sidetracked to the castle of a beady-eyed baroness who keeps her son locked up tight. <laughs> That'll teach ya. It should, but when Frenchie helps liberate the lad, she finds out too late that he's actually a very Austin Powers-looking vampire, now on the loose, and eager to make the local maiden's bride to the Dracula legacy. <laughs> oh, be paved. British horror great Peter Cushing steps in as vampire hunter Dr. Van Helsing, out to ruin the reception by staking knowledge will forever hold his peace. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, as he sits on the side of the bride to put the kibosh on the bachelorette party for the Brides of Dracula. Ooh, that's nasty. And we've gotten a better quality print of this movie than we've previously shown, so the brides will be even more beautiful this time around. I wish I was. Who's this? Sure is ugly. <clears throat> well, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Although I was thinking, every woman hates having to be a bridesmaid for the Brides of Dracula. Right, Rooney. Well, sure, because... Like for every other wedding, you know you're going to end up wearing some awful-looking shroud that you're never going to be able to use again. Oh, <laughs> see, see what I did there? It's kind of like you think where, you know, you're going to a wedding party. It's not much of a party, is it? Especially when Dracula's involved. Or any other vampire. Speaking of which, let's get to them, shall we? It's the Brides of Dracula. A little higher, please. That's much better. That's enough. 